Now we have head coach Bill Cubitt. Western Michigan is coming, actually now with the win against UConn, they defeated uh, UConn, Iowa, Virginia, and Illinois under uh, head coach Bill Cubitt. And with UConn being the defending Big East champions, uh, the last time we beat a, a BCS team, Illinois, they were also coming off the conference championship. So, Coach, comment on that and comment on uh, the offensive numbers. Yeah, well, you know, I knew it was in the back. Uh, oh. Mark, I knew it was there. Right? My dad and my mom showed up. They were undefeated this year. So, uh, but yeah, I thought uh, I just liked the way our kids battled. I mean, it was it was it was starting to, uh, on the sidelines. It was just a little bit different there. You know, when they came up, and our kids came back there. And we just put it back on Alex Carr and went to the two-minute game and just said, let him, let him take it over. And the wideouts, we said the exact same thing to those guys. Uh, you're going to have to go out there and win it for us. We couldn't run the ball. Um, you know, we're just, we just got a lot of injuries up there, up front. So the easiest way to protect those guys is to go throw it. And, uh, and then when you got a quarterback that goes, does what he does, 37 or 51 for 479, five touchdowns, uh, uh, you know, makes the decisions a whole lot, uh, a lot, a lot easier. Can you talk a little bit about, uh, in the middle of the second half, like, Guys might be getting worn down, but do you feel that? I mean, this has been a stretch of five games yep. here, and do you feel that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I did. I, I thought that, uh, you know, I thought our defense was getting worn down a little. I thought our offense, you know, we they uh, they came out and did some really good things. I thought that in the second half, coming out there, and we, uh, you know, we had that, that sack fumble, but our defense came out there, and I think we held. I think I don't think they got any points off of that one, and uh, and then what you know, it's, it was kind of interesting. when they went down there and scored uh, to tie it up, and then they kicked off. I thought our kids just, they just sat there and go, we're going to go win it. You know, I thought we scored a little bit too fast, you know, but, uh, you know, when you, you could just see Alex, see, the guy, the guy is a gamer. I mean, if he, he ain't one of the best quarterbacks. I, mean, I don't know who, I don't know where else you get him. Like, he's, uh, he's just a great kid. And, you know, and I thought Jordan, and, you know, what's his, every game he's, he's played this year, you know, that he's, uh, we didn't have the, the uh, Nichols one, but every game besides that, he's, you know, he's got over 10 catches and he's just a real productive guy. And everybody knows he's out there. Was out of physical. You talked about the importance of Caleb's emergence in oh. this game, and then that, that big catch, obviously, at the end. Yeah, you're seeing him. What you're seeing, what I'm, what I've been seeing for two years, in, out in the practice room. And uh, you know, I, I keep on singing his praises. He's got to keep him healthy. And uh, unfortunately, he, got, he was he was hurt again this year. But he came out there, and that's that's what he is. That's Caleb Bravo. When you got him, and you got Jordan, and you got that Robert, you know, as well as he's playing. Uh, we got we got some guys, you know, that, that are pretty dangerous out there. You know, and, uh, and I'm not going to worry about. Uh, you know, I, I really don't care. You know, about the, the rushing. I mean, the bottom line is we won. We put up a lot of point, uh, yards, put a lot of points up there, and uh, that, if that's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. And uh, you know, I'm not going to beat my head up against the wall. These guys have talked about the importance of, of moving ahead, having beaten a BCS team after facing three of them, and not just having noble, you know, confidence. Uh, gaining performances, but actually having a win and what that means moving forward. Can you just talk about how good it feels to come away with one of these wins? Yeah, because we kicked one away last week. I mean, we, I thought we had that one. I thought that uh, we played uh, we played well enough that we should have won that game. And that was against a ranked team. And then, uh, you know, coming in here, and that's the Big East champion, 16 return starters. And, uh, and really, they were they were uh, six points away from being 4 0. The Iowa State, you know, they, they have Iowa State and, uh, and Vanderbilt. So, um, you know, I thought that uh, I knew this was going to be a battle. I mean, this was you know, this was, this was going to be hard. You know, knowing how good of Coach Paul is, uh, Pasquale, and they had they have good players. I mean, that's why they were Big East champions last year.